So now that you've seen the reveal of my new 2017 Ford F-350, I wanted to go into some more details and a walk around of exactly what I like about this truck and some of the features that it has. So I hope you enjoy. This is a King Ranch Edition, dually. This truck has the max tow package on it, which includes a 410 rear axle, giving it actually a greater towing capacity as well as payload capacity than my outgoing 2016 F450 Platinum. This truck has so many features and so much technology above and beyond my previous truck, it is astonishing. I absolutely love the quad LED headlights that come on this truck. This was an upgraded package, so this is what's called the King Ranch Ultimate Package. Every light on the front of this truck is LED. From the little bars here, to your headlights, to your high beams, to your turn signals, all the way down to the fog lights. I did not opt for the chrome package on this truck, which unfortunately kept me from getting that really nice King Ranch label that goes across the back of the tailgate, which you only get with the chrome package, which I don't understand. I opted to get color matched everything, so the bumper, instead of being chrome, is color matched to the caribou color on the side of the truck, as well as the mirrors. In order to get that big template across the back that says King Ranch, you have to get the chrome package. You know, some people may not consider it an upgrade, and I really like the look of the 19.5 inch Alcoa wheels that I had on my 450, but I like the function of the 17 inch wheels that you get on the 350, mainly because it opens me up to many, many more options for tire upgrades as well as wheel upgrades. The 19.5 inch 10 lug wheels that I had on my previous truck were just incredibly hard to get worked on. You couldn't purchase tires from any of your local tire shops. You pretty much had to go to a commercial tire shop. So I'm very happy to have 17 inch wheels on this truck. And I really like the King Ranch logo in the center of them. I think it looks really good. I really like the power deploying running boards. Um, they're really nice because they sit a little lower to the ground than the traditional fixed side steps that you get on these trucks. This is part of the King Ranch Ultimate package. And again, these are really nice because they're really wide. They have a nice platform. Um, and my wife finds it much easier getting in and out of the truck. This truck has so many cameras, it's kind of ridiculous. I believe I have six of them on the truck. I have one right up there that you may be able to see. I have one under each one of the mirrors here for your 360 surround cameras. There's a high center mount camera up here, as well as a tailgate camera here. This truck also comes equipped with Ford's Bliss or Blind Spot Detection System. And it extends to the length of your trailer as well. Actually, I believe it only extends about 35 feet down the side of your trailer, but it still is better than nothing. And it gives you great visibility to if you have a vehicle in the blind spot of your trailer. Pardon the messy bed when I show you this, but a really nice feature of the key fob here is when you press this button twice, the tailgate automatically opens. And another great feature is just how light the tailgate is. It probably weighs a quarter of the weight of my previous tailgate. I mean, it's just incredibly light and easy to lift up. A really cool feature that Ford has added is LED lights, essentially on the sides and the back of the truck to help you in dark areas when you're trying to hitch up a trailer. It's a very convenient feature. And on this particular truck, it's right here. So if I unlock the truck, it's gonna turn that LED light on, which shines down towards this area, so if you're hitching up a trailer at night, it makes visibility far, far greater. They also put an LED spotlight right here as well, which shines off the side of the truck. When you fold the mirrors in, it gives you just a tremendous amount of light casted off the side of the truck towards, let's say, a barbecue pit, or if you're doing any work outside at night. It's essentially just to help you see, as well as the puddle lights underneath here that shine down across the entire swath underneath the truck. So it gives you just a lot of light when you're walking up to the truck at night. A convenience feature that I had told people I really wanted on my previous truck that I didn't have is push button start. So the key fob's in my pocket, the truck is locked. All you have to do is reach in, touch the inside of the handle, it unlocks the truck. Then when you get in the truck, you simply push the brake, hit the start button here on the side, and the truck starts right up. 
Now the gauge cluster up front is just leaps and bounds better than the outgoing model. You get things such as tire pressure or TPMS on all your tires. This is not a feature anybody else offers on dually pickup trucks. It's been a feature that's standard on single rear wheel pickup trucks for a long time, but as far as duallys go, especially the F450, which still does not have this feature, having tire pressure monitoring on your duallys as well as the front is an extraordinary feature. It gives you the actual diesel exhaust fluid gauge, which tells you exactly how much fluid you have. This is another feature that Ford should have had on the previous truck and is just great that they have on this truck. There's so many features in here that you can look at. You can pull up a boost gauge, you can look at your digital speedometer, just all sorts of information that people wanna see and it's now available on this truck. This truck does come equipped with SYNC 3. One of the big advantages of SYNC 3 over the previous outgoing SYNC MyTouch is the capacitive touchscreen display. This is just better technology. So it works kind of like a smartphone where you just touch the screen and it detects the electricity in your body to actually do any of your movements or to transition from one area to another. Everything on this system is so much better than the outgoing version of SYNC, and this is a huge upgrade. Also, 360 degree camera. So now I have the ability to see anything that's around the outside of my truck using the four cameras that surround the truck. I also have the ability to see just a front view camera as well as a wide angle front view camera. And when you're in reverse, it gives you several other cameras as well. So now that I have the truck in reverse, when I select the camera, I have a high mount camera that looks down into the bed, which is gonna help when hitching up the fifth wheel. I have the auxiliary camera if I want to connect a camera to the back of my fifth wheel, but I'd have to wire it in. I really don't think I'm going to do that simply because I already have my wireless camera that works so well. And then you have your trailer camera, which gives you a shot going down the sides of your truck. And this is from the front mirrors using the cameras underneath. The reason why this is so great is if you're backing a trailer up, oftentimes you may lose perspective of what your trailer is doing. So if you see the lines here where the grass is, if I were going to be backing up into that area, I could, I could see a perspective of where it is. And the next feature was where you can zoom in on it as well. It gives you a zoom function. Another nice feature, even of this camera, if you're hitching up, is the zoom feature for your bumper. So this is if you want to line up directly under the hitch of whatever you're going to be towing. Just great use of cameras in this truck, and they're all really relevant to people who tow. Of course, you have your downhill crawl mode, traction control, and diesel exhaust brake. Another neat feature of this new truck is the fact that you have massaging seats. You simply hit the button here and it starts rotating through the lumbar on the back and the bottom to provide you massage. And this is actually on both front seats. So if you have your significant other with you and you want to be able to provide that same service to them, this gives you that capability as well. And it just simply moves the lumbar support, the cushion, the air that's underneath all your seats and rotates through it. It's really cool. Um, I've heard really great things from people who've been on long road trips with this, how it can make the difference between a comfortable ride versus a achy back when you get out. So that's really nice. When you hit the adjust button, it restores everything back to the settings that you had before the massage feature. This truck does have the six up fitter switches as well. Um, four of them that are 25 amp and then two of them that are 40 amp. And you can actually wire these last two so they stay on all the time by simply swapping a fuse out under the hood. And it's really simple. It's actually designed so you just move a fuse from one slot to another. And now you have these two last 40 amp up fitter switches that you can run even with the engine off. So if you're running emergency lights or you know any type of strobe equipment or any type of uh, equipment that needs those, you can do that. And then what the system will do is it will detect if the battery's starting to drain too much and it will turn off the upfitter switches once it reaches the point to where it feels that you may not be able to start the vehicle anymore if it keeps going. This truck does have the panoramic sunroof, basically a sunroof that extends the entire length of the cab front to back. It consists of two panels with a divider. When you pull this part back, you can lift and raise the front panel like a moonroof, but you cannot raise the back panel. The back panel is just a fixed piece of glass. So it's really nice, um, especially if you have a child in a child seat, they can look straight up and it gives them a little bit more of an entertaining view than uh, being strapped into a seat. One of the reasons I went with the King Ranch this time versus a Platinum is I absolutely love the interior leather color as well as design on the King Ranch Edition truck. Plus, you cannot get the two-tone color package on a Platinum. And I really wanted this white gold color with the Caribou two-tone um, bottom trim. And I think that the color combination is just amazing on this truck. 
all the panels on this truck, everything on the door, even the wood, everything looks very, very well built. It's all constructed very well. And you finally have a lot more soft touch materials than the outgoing truck. You virtually had all hard plastics in the truck that I had versus many, many of the surfaces and contact points are soft touch. Plus the overall look of the interior of the truck is far nicer. It has much more of a quality feel to it. Things were put together tighter, better stitching. Everything just looks really nice in this truck. Just like the previous outgoing truck, you still have your power telescoping, power folding mirrors that come on this vehicle. Very nice, very convenient, especially when it is over 100 degrees outside and you, you know, any little movement outside is going to get you sweating real bad. This is a nice feature just so you don't have to take that extra step, especially if you forget. A lot of people pull out of the parking lot when they're towing something get down the road and they realize they forgot to deploy their tow mirrors. On this truck, you don't have to worry about it. If you are in the truck, you simply press the button and you can power extend as well as press a button here and they can fold in for you. This truck also comes equipped with LED lights in the bed. You just press the button here to turn them on. They are incredibly bright and they're faced more towards the front so it illuminates the whole bed of the truck. As well as these box link uh, little accessory tie downs gives you the ability to put these cleats in as well as other accessories like ramps and such. As you can see, I already have a bed rug installed in my truck. I have it cut out so it supports my B&W hitch as well. And you know, bed rugs are just phenomenal products. If you have the aluminum bed and you're worried about damaging it by dropping heavy objects onto it, I mean, if you look at just the thickness of the bed rug, that's the part I cut out. You can see in some areas it's over an inch thick, and in the thinnest areas it's roughly three quarters of an inch thick. It's waterproof, it's a plastic material, it has a lifetime warranty, and your bed will not get damaged underneath it. It's like a heavy cushion. It's incredibly durable and they hold up exceptionally well. Plus, I've had even really good experience with the warranty service from Bedrug. I had removed one from one of my previous trucks and I broke a zipper in the process. They sent me an entire new Bedrug just because of a broken zipper. So you have to commend them on that type of service. Three inch receiver hitch. So you have two collars right here, sleeves to reduce it. But when you take both of these out, three inch receiver. And I'm actually gonna be getting a three inch hitch that's gonna slide into this pretty soon. So I'll be doing a review on that once I get that. This is a really cool setup. 21,000 pound conventional towing on this thing. It is a tow beast. It doesn't have the Dana S130 axle anymore, but what it does have is the new and improved Dana M300 series axle. This is still a medium duty axle. It actually has a higher payload capacity than the outgoing Dana S130 that I had. Um, this is a really, really solid axle setup, and the only difference between the axle on this truck versus an F450 is the axle shaft diameter inside of the axle housing is just a little bit larger, about a tenth of an inch larger than the axle shaft on the 350. But regardless, this setup actually has a higher payload capacity than my previous truck by over a thousand pounds. As everybody already knows, fully boxed, e-coated frame. What I've learned is that even though this truck is a much more solid feeling truck when you're driving and it feels very tight and you don't feel much motion, it does transfer little tiny bumps to the body of the truck, even though it kind of muffles them out or dampens them significantly so you really don't care. The ride on this truck is a vast improvement over my outgoing F450. If you saw the crash tests that the government did on this truck, you'll see that this frame was built very, very rigid. The truck barely had any movement. Um, I was incredibly impressed by the crashworthiness of the new Super Duty trucks. Now this truck does not have the wide track front suspension and that is something I miss, mainly because of the turning radius that you get. I really wish that they had offered that on the max tow version of this truck, but it is a significant difference. In areas that I could easily do a full turnaround, I'm having to do three point turnarounds. And when you're in tight parking areas, you're pretty much forced to park in the back because you know you may find it kind of difficult to squeeze this into a tight parking spot. Whereas my 450, because of that front axle and the extra turning radius, which is about seven and a half feet, um, reduced turning radius from this truck, I could really maneuver it just about anywhere I needed to get the truck. So let's talk some numbers real quick. Previous truck, 19,000 pound conventional towing. This truck, 21,000 pounds conventional towing capacity. Previous truck, 
31,200 pounds maximum gooseneck towing. This one, 31,300 pounds. Plus, this truck now has a 48-gallon fuel tank versus the 38.5-gallon tank of my previous truck and the 26-gallon tank of my 2011 F-250. And it has a 7.5-gallon def tank versus the 5-gallon tank in my previous two trucks. This is a significant improvement. One feature I forgot to mention on the interior is the fact that you now get a 400 watt AC converter on the inside of your truck. So you actually now have the ability to power accessories with the standard plug up to 400 watts versus the outgoing 150 watt. And they give you two of these, one up here and one behind the center console for your rear seat passengers. So that wraps it up for my quick overview of my new truck. I hope you like it. I hope you think that this was a good idea. I really wanted to get a truck that was a significant improvement over my 450, while at the same time giving me a few more flexible options like wheels and tires and things like that that the 350 gives me. Anyways, I'm going to be doing several more videos. As you can see, I've already installed the Axis truck top. I have a video made for that. I haven't edited it yet, but I'm going to put that one out pretty soon so you can hear some more about that Axis bed cover. And I have my Weather Guard toolbox in have some more accessories that will be going on this truck soon. I'll be making videos on those. Bear with me because i got a lot of content now. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank you, everyone.